Yo, what's going on? Today's video, I got the how to make Conqueror's Hockey um ability slash skill. You guys know from One Piece and stuff, any One Piece fans and stuff. Um, you guys know Conqueror's Hockey and stuff, you know, where you pretty much you look at your opponent and stuff, you release like a type of aura and stuff, and you make you know your opponents just kind of drop to the ground type thing, right? And before I get before I move any further, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the 7,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it and stuff. And all honest, I wasn't even planning to make this 7,000 subscriber special. I literally just like someone DM'd me and then they were just like, Congrats on 7,000. I was just like, Oh, what? I didn't even realize. I knew it was like, I know it was close, but I didn't realize I hit it and stuff. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing me. I really do appreciate everyone who checks the premieres, watches my videos, leaves comments, DMs me, joins the server, everything. I really do appreciate that. Shout out to, of course, you know, Mac, my thumbnail maker, community manager, my staff, my managers, Krill, Charlie, my boy, Aragami. Crizo, my helpers, shout out to everybody, and of course, all the people who, you know, are members of my channel and Discord server, but let me stop talking, let me go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay, so first things first, of course, we're going to set up a, um, a spear, right? So you guys know, of course, we're going to create like a, you know, let's create a spear, right? Of course, the goal is to, you know, have it like, we're going to tween it so it expands out, you know, we're going to animate it and whatnot, right? So you're going to create a spear, you can leave it as the default size, you don't have to change the size, right? You want to rename this spear to, um, hockey spear. Yeah, that's not a good name. So hockey spear. As for the properties, you want to anchor it. Disable can collide. Um, this is optional, but I'm personally I'm going to set the material to force field and then make the color red because hockey in one piece has been shown to be different colors. We've seen gold, red, blue. And stuff so it's really up to you but i'm just gonna go with red because it's my favorite color plus i'm just gonna that's like the way the red looks right so once we have the hockey spear set up you're gonna go ahead and drop that inside of server storage you're then gonna insert a remote event into replicated storage rename set remote event to combat event right of course you're gonna need a hockey sound there, there's actually a lot of sound effects that people have from one piece of, of hockey you know just literally go to the just go to the toolbox Go to audio and then just type hockey and then you guys will find you find multiple sounds. So just choose whatever one you like, right? So once you do that, put that inside the sound service and we can go ahead and get into the scripting now. So I'm gonna open up starter player, insert a local script into starter player scripts. I'm going to rename said script combat. If I knew how to spell correctly, combat script in parentheses put local, right? And then I'm going to delete print hello world. We're gonna need to create some variables. First things first, I'm going to get the user input service. So I'm going to say local UIS is equal to game, get service, user input service. Then I'm going to get the tween service. I'm going to say local TS is equal to game, get service, tween service. And then lastly, I'm going to, of course, get the combat remote event. So I'm going to say local combat event is equal to game, the replicated storage, wait for child, combat event. Now to set up the first function. I'm going to set up the you know input function first. So I'm going to say UIS that input began connect function right in parentheses you're going to put input comma processed then enter you're going to say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard and not processed enter not processed pretty much just means the player is not typing in chat then if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code you guys can go whatever key bind you want i'm a person go with e then enter right then i'm going to fire their mode event i'm going to say combat event fire server and quotation marks I don't know how that E got on the outside, but in quotation marks, you're going to put a hockey, right? Now to set up the second function, you're going to, of course, put the skip a line. Then you're going to say combat event. This is going to be an on server event. I mean, on client event. You're going to say combat event dot on client, combat event dot on client event, connect function and parentheses. You're going to put event type and enter. You're going to say if event type is equal to in quotation marks hockey, then enter, right? This is the players who are being affected by it. pretty much the enemy players that are being affected by the hockey, right? So we're going to create a blur like blur like effect. I'm going to um say local blur is equal to instance that new in quotation marks. You're going to put color correction effects. You're going to parent this to game that you know lighting and stuff, right? And then you're going to set the tween. You're going to say local blur tween is equal to TS, create, put the blur for the instance, comma, tween info, dot new. As for the duration, I went with 0 0.7 seconds, then comma, enum, dot easing style, I went with linear, then comma, enum, dot easing direction, I went with out, right? And then we are going to 
put a comma in between the parentheses. Then we're going to set up a property table. We're going to uh, get our special brackets, right? And then we're going to modify a bunch of properties. So I'm going to say, you guys can really tweak these properties uh, to your liking. But I'm going to say brightness is equal to 0 0.3. Comma contrast is equal to 5. Comma saturation is equal to 10. Comma and this is the last part of so tint color and of course i'm gonna make the tint color uh red right so tint color dot new and then i think it was 240 yeah 240 comma one or wait no it was it zero zero yeah yeah that's what it was 240 then zero zero right and then i'm gonna play the tween of course blur tween play right and then i'm going to add a weight so test that weight 1.2 again i don't know how that happened but that's the weight 1.2 seconds right and then we can really copy and paste this we can control C, control V, put it to at the end, two, two, right? And then we're going to change the change this. We're gonna change this to one point, uh, I think I had it to like five. Yes, yeah, like 1.5 seconds, right? We're, we're gonna leave all of this, you know, the same. Um, I guess actually, no, let's change this to in and then we'll leave, and this will be out. Now for the properties we're modifying here, we're literally just setting everything to zero because we want everything to disappear. So just set everything to zero. Um, after the tint color, you want it to be white and stuff since it's like fading out. If I could click it, right? So I'm going to set it to white. Boom. All right. We're going to play that tween. Then once the second tween is done, blur tween dot completed connect function, right? Close parentheses, then enter. You're going to destroy the blur. Boom. That's simple, right? So then we can um, move on to the server script. So we can then go ahead and insert a server script into the server script service. I'm going to then rename the script to combat script and in parentheses put server. You're going to delete print hello world. First and first, we got to get a couple services. First, get the tween service. So we're going to say local TS is equal to um, game get service tween service. Then we're going to get the sound service. So local SS is equal to game get service. Answer. I really don't know how that keeps happening, but anyway, um, then I'm going to get the debris service. So local DS due to game, get service debris, right? And then lastly, of course, we're gonna get the combat mode event. So combat event is equal to game to replicate the storage right for child combat event, right? And then I'm going to say combat event on server events connect function, right? In parentheses, you're going to put PLR start for the player, comma event type, which should be hockey, right? And enter, we're going to create a variable for the player's character. I'm going to say local character is equal to player dot character. And I'm going to say if event type is equal to equation marks hockey, enter, right? I'm going to clone the hockey spear that we should have inside of server storage. So I'm going to say local hockey spear is equal to game dot server storage dot hockey spear clone. I'm going to set some properties. Hockey spear dot C frame is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot C frame, right? And then of course we need a parent. It's hockey spear dot parent is equal to workspace, right? Then I'm going to set up the hockey tween. So I'm going to control V. I'm going to paste. Remember, I got this from the other local script. So I'm just pasting that. We're going to rename this to a hockey tween. And then of course, make sure you know, update the name. And then we're going to have to update a whole bunch of stuff. So for the instance with the hockey spear, as for the duration, it's going to be 0 0.25 seconds, right? And then linear um, out and everything. As for the properties, nowhere near as much properties. We're simply um, just changing the uh, the size and transparency. So size is equal to vector three dot new. I went with 50 comma 50 comma 50, right? Then we're gonna put a comma and then we're going to also set transparency equal to one. Transparency is equal to one. Oh, I spelled that one. So there we go, transparency, right? And then it's going to play the hockey tween, right? Then we also want to play our hockey sound effects. So ss.hockey play, right? Then we can set up the 4i loop. We're going to get all the players in the server. So we're going to say 4i v in pairs. So in other words, you, to test this, you have to test this like with an, an actual server with um, either an actual server with actual players or you have to do, like, you know, the test server of uh, well, for the feature, now I can't talk, feature, right? Which I will be doing and stuff just to make sure it works. I'm going to say game.players, get children, enter. Right, I'm going to say local enemy character is equal to v dot character, right? I'm going to set the if statement. I'm going to say if enemy character. Damn. 
I just realized I actually don't need to search if there's a human on it. I just realized that because if, if it's getting everything from the thing, I didn't even think about that. Okay, so I don't even need to do that. Well, let's save yourself a step. Anyway, so we're going to put parentheses and then we're going to say character that humanoid root part that position minus then just the vice versa enemy character that humanoid root part that position go on the outside put that magnitude less than and then you put your range right here i'm gonna put 20. now i, I would assume you know you want to have a pretty big range to, since it's a hockey ability so you know it's an aob attack right so yeah so we're gonna have that and then for our last check we're gonna say and um enemy character the name is nil equal to player name of course so we're not damaging ourselves of course right um actually yeah i was i was thinking about i was thinking about not hold on i'm trying to think real quick because i want to okay yeah okay, okay. I, I know what i'm gonna do i know what i'm gonna do okay yeah, so we're going to leave it like that, right? And then we're going to say combat event to make sure you do fire client, singular, fire client, right? Then you're going to put V, comma, in quotation marks, hockey, the name of the event. Let's scroll down so we can, you know, get a better view. And then I'm going to ragdoll the, the enemy character. So I'm going to say um, enemy, okay, if I could spell, enemy character. Okay, there we go. Humanoid root part that anchored for first. We just got to make sure it is not anchored. And then we're going to set the C frame. Enemy character accumulated root part that C frame is um times times equal to C frame that or sorry not new C frame that angles right zero comma zero math that ratio for radians um negative ninety degrees right or sorry negative ninety radians then I'm gonna set up a second for our loop I'm gonna say um this time for try not to get confused because I know when I put a for loop set up another for our loop because we're gonna actually put a third for our loop um and so try not to get confused so for i2 comma v2 in pairs right and then because we're going to set up a highlight so the player's body is red and stuff this is like the player won't really be able to like they're able to see it but they won't really see it since there'll be a blur on the screen this is more so for like other players that are looking and being like what's going on with them like why are they talking out like that and then they see like their body's red just so like oh they got hit with a hockey attack so it's just like you know that's really what it's for honestly so i'm going to say enemy character it children right then enter and then i'm going to say if v2 is a part or v2 is a mesh part looking out for our six and our 15 i got gotcha, y'all right then enter you're then going to create the highlight you're going to say local highlight is equal to instance that new in quotation marks of course but highlight parent this v2 right then you're going to say highlight that adorny is equal to v2 right equal to v2 then i'm going to say um i'm going to actually set up the highlight between so i'm going to paste it again control v oh okay. i thought i well i'm just copy this so control c control v now i'm going to set up the um the, the first highlight twin so i'm going to rename this of course to highlight twin right Paste over this control C control V. Um so as for this, of course, you're gonna change this to uh this V2 or is it oh I'm sorry, highlight. Yeah, highlight as for the time, one second. So change this to one second. This of course is out um outward. As for the properties, I'm gonna be changing. First things first, we have Corona Station name on the properties, not gonna lie. First things first, it will be the fill color. So fill color is going to be we change this to color three dot new. The fill color is going to be red, of course. So boom, the color will be red. Um the fill transparency. So literally just go here and then just add the word fill. Fill transparency is going to be 0.5, right? 0 0.5, and then for the last property, the outline color. So outline color will be black. So color three dot new and then black. Um so boom and boom, right? Just like that. We are done with the uh second for our loop, right? Kind of the first, but second for the it's the first for the highlight, but second overall. Right? Then we're going to click the arrow up here. Into we're gonna set up a delay function. We're gonna say delay 0 0.8 by 0 0.8 seconds, then comma function parentheses, or sorry parentheses right enter 
now this is we need to put a delay because like the code will continue to run it'll just come back to play this the reason for that is because if we added a test that way test that way it wouldn't work because well no it would work but it would have a delay to where like say if you had like five players it would like it would attack the first player right it would do the tween then it would wait 0 0.8 seconds then the second one zero, another 0 0.8 second like it would just it would just be delayed overall this is to prevent delay so then we can really copy and paste all this Control c Control v boom right and then the great thing is you don't have to change none of it right well like in terms of like the fly part and stuff um so for this you're going to simply you're gonna for the highlight variable you're gonna change this to v2 that highlight right um you don't need this anymore this is our this is our second highlight twin we so we could rename this to two if we wanted to right and the t and then you know it's the t the tween right or instead of out this time it is in then all we're doing all we're literally doing with this is um all we're honestly doing with this is just setting the fill transparency and outline transparency that's it so i'm going to change this to fill trans or sorry not fill transparency outline transparency and then of course you're just going to change this to one you're going to change the fill transparency to one and then you don't need the outline color property you don't have to change anything with that. And then the last thing we have to do is say DS add item highlight. So we'll just destroy it after one second. Whenever the tween is done, right? Boom. Just like that, we can now test to make sure everything works. As always, if you guys want access to any of my scripts or models, you guys can become either a channel member or a Discord subscriber. Link to either one, either one of those options can be found in the description. But yeah, okay, so here's how I want to do this, right? I'm going to remove this part, right? I'm going to remove this part. You guys don't remove this part. I'm simply just testing just to make sure it's all good. I don't want to put out a video and, you know, like the code won't even work. Stuff, right? I just want to make sure it works. I'm testing I'm testing to see um to see if like how it affects me, and then I'm just going to text, test it from a third-party point of view. Okay, so boom, there we go, yeah. This one and everything caused me to ragdoll. Yeah, there we go. Or actually, now I think about it, I could really just. Then if I just delete that, oh, I honestly don't even know if I don't even know if the wait. Okay, so it did cause my okay, so yeah, it did cause my body to like yeah, yeah, it's causing me to go red. Okay, yeah, that's why I wanted to test with actual players too. So let's go ahead and test. So you just go test up here. It would start up a local server and stuff. It should, you know, it'll take a, a couple seconds, maybe a couple minutes. It really depends on, you know, your device. Your device that really depends on how long it will take, right? So I'm going to test a couple of players. I want to see this from a. Man, I just realized I forgot to change the code. I'm not going to hold y'all. I forgot to change it. I forgot to change it back. Okay, hold on. Uh, we. I need to go back. I'm not going to hold y'all. Okay, I need to go back. I don't create way too many tabs. I forgot to change it back. Okay, so after I clean all that up, right? It's cleaning all them up. And now it's okay, there we go. Right. So I forgot to add this back. So let me just control Z. There we go. Okay. Cause we the whole point is you want to test with um you want to test with that part. Because you don't want you, the the attacking player to be affected by the by the attack. The only reason I did that was because I just wanted to make sure it worked. Now I just want to see it from a third party point of view to make sure it's you know it's affecting the other uh the enemy characters the exact way we wanted to at least from a third party point of view if that makes sense it's really just to see the highlight tweens honestly that's really just it so like i said it should take a couple seconds okay it's loading this okay first one might be a little laggy for the first couple seconds once i finally my character finally loads in okay so so far we're two players deep okay there we go all three we're here okay but okay like i said it's gonna be a little laggy and yeah okay so if i press e there we go okay perfect you guys see how it's red and everything okay perfect that's exactly how i wanted it and then let me just move back over here and yeah but yeah, as you guys can see everything works and stuff if you guys need help anything definitely join the discord server link can be found in the description for my discord server and my roblox you guys should for sure join discord server is almost at three thousand members and stuff uh like i said thank you guys so much for all the love and support i'm on the channel like greatly I really appreciate it. We hit 7,000 subs, 3,000 more to go to 10,000, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let's go ahead. Um, Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next video. Thank you for watching.